Systems for Eco Change. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 238. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 238, October 15th, 2017 edition. Today's topic is systems for eco change. And what those are from One Community's perspective are systems designed to provide more of what people want, at an affordable enough price so that it can become implemented and become self-replicating. Create built on a foundation of sustainability and creating a sustainable civilization and planet for all of us to benefit from. And so we've broken those systems for eco change down into several different categories and we're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replication in virtually any environment. Everything you see happening in the background here of this video is that it's what we've created over the last six to seven years and we will continue until we build one community as a place that people can visit experience everything that is that we're doing and we believe that if we make it easy enough affordable enough and we demonstrate this way of living and these models as attractive enough then the idea will as i've suggested spread on its own and we have the possibility of creating a sustainable world within our lifetime and while doing that, simultaneously addressing the challenges of the biggest challenges of our generation for generations to come, which are war and poverty and homelessness and food insecurity and all of these things, social injustice and inequality, putting these things together by addressing the foundations that we've identified as essential to a sustainable planet. And so these are the systems of eco change. We call it an evolution of sustainability because it's founded on, it's based on the foundations of physical sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and combining those with the foundations of what we've identified as emotional sustainability. And those would be highest good approaches to education, highest good approaches to economics, fulfilled living practices, and true earth stewardship, taking care of the planet and models designed specifically to do that. Putting all of these together as systems for eco change that provide a way of living that most people will find better than the way that they're living right now. And that is the path to self-replication. These systems, this idea that if you can produce your own food and be able to build your own housing and provide your own education and provide environments that do that and supply that to others that don't want to do one or more of those things. Locally driven community models designed to teach others how to replicate everything that it is that they do and producing enough of those so that people have access to the information that they want with do-it-yourself instructions for implementing all of the highest good approaches that we're creating into their lives in the way that they want. And because they're open source and because they're free shared, they can be adapted, they can be modified, they can be replicated or duplicated, but they can be adapted or modified to fit the specific needs of different individuals and groups so that people can create things the way that they want, but still built on this consciousness and this, this concept of living and creating for the highest good of all, because that is the foundation that we're creating from. And from there, we believe that built on that foundation of sustainability and that thinking for the highest good of all life on this planet, we think that we can create a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. So this is what One Community is doing. This is what we're creating, and this is our idea. And we've had over 300 uh, volunteers to this point, and we're a 100% volunteer organization. We're a nonprofit organization designed to build One Community so people can come and visit and experience everything that it is that we're designing, all the different village models that you see so they can see the education programs firsthand, or so that people can see all this from anywhere in the world because we will be open sourcing as we already are and free sharing as we already are every single aspect of what it is that we're creating. And so this is what our team is all about. This is what we're doing. And this is what every week's progress is about, is those steps towards building one community and sharing one community as a new way of living, an opportunity for people to change the paradigm for how humanity is currently building, growing their food and living and education, economic models, all of these things. There's no reason why we couldn't do all of these things for the highest good of all. And we think that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it as attractive enough, then the natural gravitation of the public at large will be towards a highest good of all approach, creating a win 
win, win, win situation. Win for the individual, win for the economy, win for the globe, for the planet, and of course, win for local environments as well. And so, this is what we're all about. So, if the idea of systems for eco change is interesting to you. Stick around. Let's check in with one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards these systems of eco change. See what it is that we're up to. Again, we're a 100% volunteer nonprofit organization. And so all the effort that's going into this, everything that's gone into getting us to where we are right now is a 100% volunteer effort. And with that said, let's check out one week of our volunteer team's progress and accomplishments. Here it is. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week's focus was continued research and design updates to include outdoor games made with recycled items like marked stones, cans, and recycled tire mulch. The core team also continued working on the complete Treehouse Village Pod 7 render. This week's focus was creating three options for the web page header and the final render of the complete village, all of which you can see here. And the core team continued working on the Murphy bed instructions. Here you see the printed assembly instructions with design questions and notes. Sungum Stanzak, PhD in PE, continued researching the filtration options for the communal eco-shower gray water. This week's focus was finalizing the design outline, which you can see here. Heyman Kodera, structural engineering master's student, completed his 11th week with us doing research and running calculations for the Earthbag Village. This week's focus was editing and adding more details to these drawings and doing research on rubble foundations. Jaganathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his fifth week working on the Straw Bale Village cost analysis. What you see here is the developing write-up summary discussing the details, sustainability savings, and final estimate. We'd say we're now about 90% complete with the full cost analysis for this village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued helping us create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 85 of Dean's work, continuing to test and develop the textures and lighting from the skylights and windows for the central dining and presentation hall. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 59th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was these two final renders of the second floor event and meeting space looking southwest, and this one of the east wing classroom spaces that are also purposed for and usable for yoga, tai chi, or other health and wellness classes. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his second week working on the Compressed Earth Block Village render editions. This week he finished adding people and additional aesthetics to the two kitchen renders you see here and live on the site. Samantha Robinson, graphic designer, completed her 11th week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was creating top parts for the blinds downstairs and upstairs, recoloring the tree shelf, lamp, drawer, and doorknob details, and sculpting and painting the twin bed parts. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Falguin Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his seventh week continuing to review, run calculations, and update the specifics of the remote energy setup plan so we can update the highest good energy page. This week's focus, as shown here, was the calculations and narrative for the 20 to 50 and 50 to 100 waves of volunteers. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, continued with her 54th week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was finalizing the lighting options for the dining dome kitchen, which you can see here in this collage that we've also added to the website. Bomzi Puller Gertha, mechanical engineer, also finished his work on the basement details for the city center heating and cooling open source hub. What you see here are some examples of Bomzi's work editing, updating graphics so they have matching scales, and presenting his final recommendation for insulating the city center basement. Oruba Rabi, PhD, PE, and civil engineer, and Hayes Lay, structural engineer, 
also continued working on the city center structural engineering details. What you see here are home screenshots of their process continuing to find and correct errors and discrepancies between the AutoCAD and SAP 2000 models. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued researching and organizing and made this chart in these images of the recently found resources for our food self-sufficiency transition plan and sustainable food nutrition calculations page, as you see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team continued building the education assessment format open source page and tutorial. This week, we added details to the helpful evaluation tips and tools section, as shown here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team added new nonprofit tax requirement specifics to the open source nonprofit portal. You can see some of this work here. Oz Zersky, lawyer specializing in trademark and copyright law, also helped us write a new tutorial for changing your official information in relation to trademarks. You can see this new content in the FAQ section of the Trademarks page. Samya Manohar, software engineer, web developer, and net application developer, and Priti Kodari, information technology enthusiast, also continued their work developing the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was fixing issues with connecting to the database, which you can see here, and completing tutorials on Node and Express.js. Well, there you have it. That is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards systems for eco change. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, and links to all the open source content and resources, and everything that is that we're creating that we've talked about in this video, as well in this update and all previous ones, visit our written blog, visit our website. It is a wealth of knowledge and information and effort that's gone into creating everything that we have created up to this point. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or you can follow us on social media and make manage your updates that way. And we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Pinterest. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Facebook. We are on Reddit and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to get the information out there, to make it so that people can share what it is that we're doing with people that want and are interested in this information as much as possible, the most, so we can get it out there as much as possible and move our planet as quickly and efficiently as we can towards a sustainable world that works for everybody through systems for eco-change that include one community model and all of its individual components. So with that said, if you'd like to support us, the easiest way to do it is sharing our information. Uh, and also thank you for the donations. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're all volunteers. So every donation that we get goes 100% towards the mission of one community, keeping our website running and everything associated with that, developing everything that is we're developing. So thank you for the donations that we get. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for those that are interested in receiving weekly updates. And thank you for everybody who shares our information. We really do appreciate it and it truly makes a difference. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.